Well, I've been, re I've been training horses for over 40 years. Uh, I've been some, so, somewhat successful. We're closing in on 2,000 wins and 40 million in purses. Uh, we're training some nice upwardly mobile horses right now that uh, I've been very fortunate to race at a high level for a long time. That means virus to us, and that means lost, uh, lost revenue, lost race dates, lost time. That's the first thing that I, that I think of. I don't think necessarily of the science of it. I think of the, uh, the lost revenue. Infection control is extremely important. Uh, horse trainers, uh, I suspect in, in, in all, uh, all breeds, are, are conflicted as to how they can properly treat it because as diligent as I may be, somebody may not be. And, or uh, they may be just trucking from, a, from one jurisdiction to another jurisdiction where those horses are you know, uh, introduced to a new strain of something. And again, we may have done all our homework, but we haven't necessarily covered that, that basis. Again, it's something we can't see. Uh, and again, I've talked to horse trainers who have religiously followed a program of protocol, vaccination protocols, and I've talked to trainers that have done nothing. And they both are going to get, you're going to get multiple answers. What we can only do is, is monitor the horse. You know, uh, we, it's almost after the fact, which is unfortunate, but temperature spikes, uh, off, off grain, any type of disposition change in the horse is generally noted by the caretaker and then introduced to me. I pull a lot of bloods. I monitor bloods, you know, monthly if not weekly in some cases, just to see um, white count, red count levels and stuff that infection levels that we may, we may be encountering down the road and uh, which would translate into poor performance. Obviously, a vaccination. Um, program is, is, is of the utmost importance. It's not, it's not the, uh, the panacea, but it is, a, it is for sure a, a reason to, if not stop it, certainly slow it down. It's lost revenue, it's lost raising opportunities, it's uh, a situation where um, obviously that's why we're here and if we can anywhere at all uh, arrest that uh, or slow it down or eliminate it, it's going to be a benefit to themselves and certainly to their owners. When you do introduce new, new, new horses to that, to your population, maybe, you know, quarantine to a degree as far as your stall, you're not going to put a horse that's in the go the next day with a young horse that come in with snotty noses and whatever, because uh, that's just common sense again.